M is for a marvelous mom. O is for an outstanding change you made on your life. T is for your trust in God. I was over to one of my friend girl house and um, she was smoking through this pipe and I said, I asked her what was she smoking and I was looking at the smoke go through it. And she told me, she said, come here and she, you know, put a piece up there. And I hid it and um, that was it. Cause you know, they always say, um, first hit, that's it. And that's the truth, you know. I came up real hard, so I, I like left at home sometimes by myself. We had to keep the small, and you know, other children, like my nephews and them. And in my life, I was raped and um, different things. So um, I believe a lot of that probably had a reason, you know, had something to do with uh, me being, you know, going deep down into alcohol and drugs. Because I didn't ever get any help for it. I just felt like I could, I could do it, you know, when I was all right. I was about 21 years old when I got the job at Duke, and I worked um, at night and took care of my children. Got me got a place, a three-bedroom house. I had a brand-new car, Fifth Avenue. You know, I was doing pretty good, but as I kept smoking and... I start losing, you know, things. Right. She's worked 20 years on a job. We don't, sometimes we don't have people that's worked that many years. So she did work 20 years on a job and she did the best she could. And it, it was a disease that, you know, overtook her and caused her to end up being homeless. I was tired of running. I was tired of smoking. I was tired of living like I was living. I was. I was just tired. I was tired of going through the things I'm going through. Uh, and I had a, a fight between me. I mean, I guess it was this, me, the devil and the stem. Because, I mean, he, one thing, one voice was saying, throw the stem away. And another was saying, don't throw it away. And another said, throw it away. And another said, don't throw it away. And by the time I got down the street, I found and throw it away. And um, I had made my mind up that uh, I wanted to go and I wanted to get clean. And a boy spoke to me and told me to go to every ministry. Mr. Leroy, he said, he asked me, was I ready? And so I told him, yes, I was ready. An individual has to be ready uh, from the innermost person to uh, pursue recovery. And Cheryl got to that point, the point that we call the jumping off place where enough was enough. She had made up her mind that she wanted what we had here in the Hope Recovery Program, and she was gonna get it regardless. And uh, I came in with, with just what I had on my back, and they gave me a roof over my head, and then they, um, I had to take classes, you know. And then, it was what? Powerlessness over alcohol. Problems are adding up. We had to uh, work in the kitchen, and live with, uh, we had to live with each other in there, you know. It wasn't easy, but, you know, with the other uh, recoveries. We have a, a diploma that we actually give them, a certificate of completion, and we pretty much make it their day. By us being housed in the urban ministries and the residents being there, we actually get to know the residents before we get them in housing. Once you see them get that key in their hand and walk through that door, <laughs> it is so rewarding. Yeah. Yes, I love my new place. Yes, yes. You know, and she hung in up with the program, and now she have her own place to stay. She don't have to, you know, pretty much, you know, be out there in the street. I got my family back, you know, and my respect back, you know, and I'm just so grateful. I got my life back. And I'm glad that she took time out and, you know, and just got herself some help, truly, because um, my brother, you know, God rest his soul, he passed away, and I know he's smiling down from heaven, you know, saying, Mama, you did it. You know, you got yourself some help. H is for your honesty and loyalty in Christ. E is for your everlasting love for everyone. Aura is for rejoicing for all days of her life. She's the greatest gift of all.
Whenever we need a shoulder to cry on, my mom was there for my brother and me.